this is my tutorial on how to do a transfer. Um, for some of you that don't know, a transfer is really just a glitter picture. Um, what we are going to use today is I have a picture of the, um, I have a copy of the picture that I want to make a transfer out of. You can make a transfer out of anything. Um, this happens to be a picture of a jacket that I saw at Disney World. I use transfers um, to make my letters as well. You can use that. Um, what we're going to do is I put my picture in a side of a Ziploc bag. I love these Shore Fresh um, Ziploc bags from the Dollar Tree, the Freezer Con. I find they work the best. Um, the transfers come off pretty easily. Um, if you have trouble getting the transfers off, you can stick the transfer in a freezer for a minute. Um, that helps as well, especially with complicated transfers. It kind of stiffens them up. Um, so that way they're easy to come off. I'm going to try that with my words. I use that to do all my words on my purses. Um, I think that's going to be really easy. I also have puffy paint. I use the Tulip brand, um, whichever brands at Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. And of course, extra fine glitter for transfers. What we're going to do is we're going to do the black um, outline first with transfers I always start with A the outline no matter what color the outline is that's the color I start with even if it's a white outline black outline most of the time my pictures it's a black outline but um, always start with the um, outline first if it doesn't have an outline um, or I'm finished my outline then I always do the darkest colors first then work my way out to the lightest on this picture I would never do the white first because um, by the time I'm finished adding the red and the blue and the black, I don't want my white to have all kinds of other glitters on it. So first we're going to do all the outlines. Since I'm doing black, I'm going to do my black as well. Now because I'm doing an outline, my outline does not have to be very thick. Because I'm going to butt it up against another color and that's going to pull the outline off that um, this Ziploc bag. However, the primary colors, the colors um, or the black that's part of her legs or part of her arm or that's going to be her head, that needs to be thick enough to come off. If it's too thin, it won't come off the Ziploc bag. Certainly not my best work, but it is fast. Now, some people do tape their transfers um, to the Ziploc bag. I'm sorry, the pages to the Ziploc bag. I don't like to because I can usually line it up pretty good. Um, also, the reason I like to is because, I don't know if you can see, there are little spots that don't have paint on them. Little vacation spots. Here, here, here. Here, they're very small, I see, but I can just go ahead and touch those up. Then just reel on. Now you wanna make sure that you take your glitter and glitter it while it's still wet. If you're not as quick or you find your puppy paint dries really fast, then you wanna do it in little sizable chunks. Now, because this is my first color, I don't mind using my whole container because I know it's not going to get contaminated. However, if it's my second color, you'll see I won't use, um, I won't put the glitter back into this primary container if it gets contaminated um, or I won't hit it, I won't knock it so hard to get as much of the um, glitter off so that way my primary tube doesn't get contaminated. And that's it. We'll see you again for the next color. All right, we're back again. So my black has dried. Um, because I use this butcher block paper on my table, I'm just going to swipe the extra glitter off. You can put it back in the container if you want to, but I got enough black, I don't need any more. And I don't know if you caught it, I forgot the black on the sunglasses. 
Um, normally I'd have to go back, do that. I forgot her arm too. I was in too much of a rush. But since this is only a practice one, I'm gonna pretend I did it. Now when compared to my trim, my fill-in is gonna be a little bit thicker and I'm gonna make sure that it butts up next to the black. So it'll pull that black trim off. Because I am transferring my used glitter back into my regular container, I'm not gonna hit the transfer really hard to knock off any extra glitter. And of course you would do all the red finish that entire color, and then let that dry. I'd move to the blue, then move to the white. Our final transfer should look something like that. All right, you're back, we're back again. My transfer is complete and it's dry. The first thing we're gonna do is pull our transfer off, just peel it right back. This is probably a design I probably should have stuck in the freezer, even though it's coming off very easily because it's not one solid piece. If this should bend over onto itself, it would stick to itself and I would never be able to get it unstuck. Now, all I do is take my E6000, glue this directly onto my purse, thanks to Dow. Place my bag of beans right on here to hold it down, give it some pressure. I would recommend buying the E6000 with the thin tip. That is it. I use the same side to put the same technique to put my next. I'll probably do a bigger one for this particular purse. I'll save these words for another purse. Um, and then once I'm done, trim it out with sequence and trim. Maybe even put a little bling on it. Thank you very much.